Wait, who's there on the other side of the screen watching this video? You! Absolutely! But are you one creature or a sort of colony? Mmm, <laughs> we'll start there. About 3 pounds of your body are bacteria, fungi, and other microscopic organisms that are a part of you. Don't worry, they're there to keep you healthy. 10 pounds of you is just your skin. Double that for your bones. And just for good measure, your heart weighs the same as a can of soup. Which explains hearty soup, I guess. Maybe not. You're also 60% water. Your brain and heart are over 70% and the lungs 80%. Your body is ever-changing. Boy, don't I know it. When you're born, you have about 300 bones. By adulthood, one-third of those have fused together to leave you with just 206. And you're technically missing kneecaps until about age 3. At first, they're made of cartilage, the same bendy stuff as your ears and nose, and then harden into bone. You lose about 300 million cells every minute. They get replaced by new ones, so no worries. Hey, how many have you regenerated since this video started? This is exactly how your liver is able to grow back even from being cut down almost in half. It's the only organ capable of such extreme regeneration. The only body part totally unable to regenerate is tooth enamel. Has your dentist warned you? In fact, thanks to cell regeneration, you replace your skin entirely every month. Your blood every 4 months, the liver 500 days, and you make yourself new bone cells every 10 years. Fingernails grow faster than toenails, so if you had a feeling that you have to cut them more often, it's because you do. A woman's heart beats a little faster than a man's on average. It's because their hearts are usually smaller, so they need to work harder to pump all that blood around the body. All that blood indeed! Your heart pumps one-third of a cup of blood around your body with each beat. That's 2,000 gallons a day, enough to fill 45 bathtubs. All that oxygen-carrying good stuff travels through a vast network of veins. So vast, in fact, that if you stretched all your vessels out, they'd wrap around the Earth twice. Not recommended. Your brain gets 20% of the oxygen and blood in your body. You inhale and exhale 25,000 times every day. Well, you gotta feed the brain its massive oxygen supply. On that note, scientists believe this could be why we yawn. Oh to get more oxygen to the brain. When you get bored or tired, you don't breathe as deeply, and it starves the brain a little. The lungs stretching the surrounding muscles also helps wake the body up. Sneezing can send droplets of mucus out of the body going 100 miles per hour. As for coughing, up to 60 miles per hour. And they're off! Coughing getting a good start. But here comes Sneeze! Wow! He really leaves cough in the dust. Uh, coughing. Now, if you don't want to spread germs, do an elbow bump instead of a handshake. Experts found that it spreads fewer germs. Even better, don't touch hands at all. They spread bacteria the most. Only one-sixth of your eyeball is visible. The whole thing is about the size of a ping-pong ball. If you're farsighted, you see things better far away, it means your eye is shorter than normal. Nearsightedness, when faraway objects are blurry, means a longer than usual eye. Your right lung can hold more air than the left one, but it's shorter to make room for the liver below it. Hey, don't crowd me! 1 in 10,000 are born with reversed organs, so all that will be flip-flop with them. 1 in 10,000 are also born without a sense of smell, called anosmia. Must make mealtime a real bummer. 80% of your sense of taste comes from what you're smelling. The smallest bones and muscles are in the inner ear. More than half your bones are just in your hands and feet. All your fingers have three bones, but your thumbs only have two. Just bend them and see. Your capillaries are the smallest and most numerous types of blood vessels. You have 10 billion of them. In miles, that's enough to reach Pluto and back to Earth and then to Pluto again, with some despair. But your largest organ is your skin. The average adult is covered with about 22 square feet of the stuff. That's bigger than a twin-sized mattress top. 
If you could take all the surface area in your lungs and flatten it out, it'd be the size of a tennis court. Dimples are usually genetic, but you can train your cheek muscles to create them. Just press your thumbs or the eraser end of a pencil in the spots you want your dimples to appear. Do it every day for at least 30 minutes, and you should see results in a month. Your palm is exactly a quarter of your arm length. You bend the fingers on one hand about 25 million times over your life. Most people have 100,000 scalp hair follicles, though blondes usually have up to 150,000, and redheads only 90,000. You have so much hair on your head because your head doesn't have fat. That's what usually gives your body nice warm insulation. Good thing, too. The head is responsible for 80% of your body's heat emission because your brain is the most energy-consuming organ. Think about it. Speaking of the brain, if you could open your head and poke it, you wouldn't feel a thing. Please don't try this at home. The brain might be the powerhouse of the nervous system, but it doesn't contain any pain receptors. When you get chills from listening to songs that move you, it's your brain releasing dopamine, the happy hormone, in that exact moment. Head full of thoughts? Experts estimate that the human brain has about 70,000 of them per day. You're a tad bit taller, about the width of a fingernail, in the morning than in the evening. Throughout the day, gravity squishes the space between your vertebrae and in your knees. They get stretched back out when you lie down all night. Now, you can't tickle yourself. Go ahead and try it. Your brain already knows your intentions and gets ready for it. You can't prepare yourself when others are about to tickle you, though. Ounce for ounce, your bones are as strong as steel. But they're way less dense, so they break more easily. If you could squish them up to the same density as steel, they'd be equals. And we'd all be superheroes. The human body contains enough iron to make a 3-inch nail. The human eye can see a candlelight up to 30 miles away. For comparison, the Mariana Trench, the deepest known place on this planet that could fit Mount Everest with room to spare, goes only 6 miles down. When you look at the world, the picture projected on the back wall of the eye is upside down. Luckily, the video card in your brain corrects that. Every person's body has a unique smell, unless you have an identical twin. A person can be identified by their fingerprints, but your tongue and lip prints are just as unique. Yeah, let's bring out the lip print scanner. Even better are the unique characteristics in your eyes. There are over 200 of them, five times more than in your fingerprints. Well, you make one quart of saliva each day. Over a lifetime, 53 bathtubs worth. How about that spit? Studies show that 12% of people dream in black and white. Do you? Let me know down in the comments. The human body has around 600 muscles. When you're simply walking, hundreds of muscles and bones keep you from falling on your face as you lean forward with each step. Sweating while exercising, walking, or running is different than the stuff rolling down your forehead as you laze around the house. Stress sweat has fatty acids in it, while couch potato sweat doesn't. Contrary to popular belief, the tongue is not the strongest muscle in your body. That would be your jaw muscle. Plus, the tongue isn't technically a muscle. It's eight of them woven together. It actually resembles an octopus tentacle in structure. Humans are the only species with chins. Why we have it is still a mystery. Another unexplained fact is our habit of cracking our knuckles. That sound many people find strangely pleasant is bubbles of air bursting inside the joints. Blushing occurs because of an adrenaline rush to the bloodstream. When your cheeks blush, so does your stomach for some reason. All living things have a different number of chromosomes. Humans have 46, peas 14, and crayfish 200. We share about 99% of our chromosomes with chimps. You also share 90% with your cat and 50% with a banana. So yeah, DNA is a funny thing. It's kind of like Legos. You can make a bunch of different things with the same blocks. The juices in your stomach are just slightly less acidic than the stuff in batteries. If given enough time, your stomach could dissolve metal. Don't test it, just look it up. Babies are usually born without teeth. But about 1 in 2,000 newborns have one. 
The highest concentration of sweat glands is on the soles of your feet. That explains how your feet produce half a pint of sweat a day. Over your lifetime, it's 1,700 gallons, or 400 bathtubs. So remember, change your socks. You'll produce almost as many tears, almost 1,600 gallons. In a half an hour, your body generates enough heat to boil up to a pint of water. And 85% of the heat your body produces comes purely from muscle contractions. And that's it for this edition of Fast Facts of Your Flesh. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll like. Mm hmm. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.